that was Slow Hands by Interpol off of Antics. I don't know. Seemed like a pretty good band. I like them. Take that for what it's worth. Happy Friday, my friends. Today we are going to take a look at Cascade Lakes Brewing Company out of Redmond, Oregon. Why did I put Bend on the board? God damn internet. 20 inch brown, brown ale, 12 fluid ounces, 5.3 ABV, 35 IBU. And the internet says it's 5.2 ABV and 17 IBU. I'm gonna go with the label. And the OG is 1.053, the FG, final gravity, is 1.013. So the OG is at least right. Let's hope the internet got the rest of it right because, well, excuse me, pull my damn socks up because some mosquitoes are back. Uh, Surgeon General's warning, blah, 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 bullshit, 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 bullshit. Named after enormous brown trout that inhabit northwest streams, this ale lives up to its legend. Using six varieties of Northwest grown malt. And those are going to be two row chocolate, crystal, Munich, victory, and Vienna. So, so far, so good. We've created a masterpiece of color, aroma, and flavor to create a medium bodied, complex multi ale. Set the others free and sink your hook into this one. Explore cascadelakes.com. Tell you what, 20 inches of big brownie, man. It's not like them German browns they imported that got like 72 freaking pounds. 20 inches of big brownie. And that's what a 20 inch brownie looks like. Nice, full bodied, rich, definitely brown, edging into that kind of ruby color. So, uh, hops are Willamette and Centennial. The ABV is, we're going to go by the one on the label because apparently the board is lying. I even have the wrong place on here. It's an American brown ale. This came to me courtesy of Vexed Partisan. You can find him on Mines, Bitchute, and Gab. Vex a really, really solid guy. We just started bullshitting, and so he said, you know, we got great beer up here. I'll send you some, and I was like, you send me some, I'll send you some back. Incidentally, as long as we are on that and I have shit all over the table, today's bottle opener is Pinup Girl in mini skirt, as opposed to the other Pinup Girl in little tank bikini or whatever the hell that is. I'll leave a link on the bottom if you collect bottle openers. All right, that is all the important shit. Well, the mostly important shit. Get down to the real important shit. Happy Friday, my friends. And as always, I let it sit out and warm up so we get a little flavor out of it. It's got a nice malty nose. I, I don't have a huge problem with malts unless they're too sweet. You can bitter out a malt and balance it up if you know what you're doing. This is a really, really nice malty smell, and usually when I see a color like this, I start to worry that they over-roasted the malts, and I'm gonna wind up with a coffee beer, and if you've ever been here before, you know how I feel about coffee beers. The one thing that goes in coffee, and it's Irish. Everything else is just bullshit. That's the nose, let's give it a tongue. Nice, a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting it to be a lot more full bodied on the initial hit, but it's pretty light. A little thin. Medium burn through the middle. Which cleans up real nice on the back end. This <laughs> is good beer. Usually the PNW guys, Pacific Northwest. So if I say DSW, that means Desert Southwest. 
usually the PNW guys are all about the hops and I need a double juicy 360 420 IPA um, Angus is that way and then that's what they grow up on and I understand it I'm not a hop guy I, I don't get bitter you can balance bitter and it's acceptable but that's their thing not mine I like this it's a good solid beer it's a little thinner than I thought it would be. I thought it would have a little heavier middle through the body. Middle through the body. Body through the middle. Uh, no reason not to drink it, though. Let's call this 3.75. Scoozy. If it had a little more bite, we would go for 3.75. A delicious beer, by the way. Uh, thanks for checking in. Thank you, Vexed Partisan. For shipping me down some beers. Give me something to do on this Friday afternoon. I'll have another one up behind this. Uh, I already cheated. I've done Deschutes Black Butte Porter before. Ah, go check it out. It's one of my favorites. I actually really, really like that beer. But I, I do tend to like porters better than stouts. That's just me. I think stouts are kind of overrated. Although there are good ones. This. Really good beer. <laughs> I had knocked those back without batting an eye, so I said, screw it, burned it, reviewed it. But I need to have a beer while I fill out the board. Thanks for checking in, folks. I will catch you on the next review. Have a nice weekend. Skull.